Today, I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about our porcupine from Harold and the Purple Crayon. This is uh, Jason Hines' design. Uh, part of the challenge of making a puppet it, from a drawing is figuring out what does it look like from different viewpoints. So Jason sketched what he thought something from the side might look like from the front. And then of course he does a little character sketch so we can give it some life. He's eating pie, porcupine's eating pie. So my job uh, is to make, make it in three dimensions. So I flat pattern a puppet out of just polyfoam. This is just a mock-up to see what it's gonna look like. And then I pick which side looks better. And I translate that into paper, correct the pattern, and translate it into something that can be used over and over. Let's say I have to make a couple. We also are making a miniature porcupine, so I reduced the pattern by 50%. They're exactly the same, just tiny. And then I cut it out of the real stuff. Uh, this is gonna be the big porcupine. He's got a moving mouth. But then we also have a miniature porcupine. His mouth doesn't move because he's just a rod puppet. No, porcupines have spines. What are we gonna make those out of? We're making them out of this hard foam called EVA foam or L200 and we hand carve each one and hand sand each one and then wrap them in this spandex. So they're just on here. So it looks cute. But we're going to paint everything in a black light paint so it phosphoresces and glows and looks like magic. Um, another fun thing are his little feet. His little teeny weeny feet. So we hand carve these also out of the same Poly foam, we get it in chunks of it. So this is the big guy's footies, like that. And the little baby footies, and they're all hand carved. It's pretty easy, we just use scissors. And they're squishy. And then we'll cover them with um, a latex so that they're really durable. And that's where we are today. Tune in next week for more.